Okay, so here we have the um, Sony Ericsson X10. So first I'll talk a bit about the hardware. So you'll find it's got um, a real nice design to it. It fits really nicely in your hand. That's due to the kind of human curvature. So all our Sony Ericsson handsets from this point forward would have this design. So really nice to sit, sits in your hand really nicely. You've got an 8.1 megapixel camera, okay? And you've also got a 3.5 mil audio jack. And it's also micro USB, okay? You've also got a four inch screen, so we really utilised the space. Inch. Four inch screen. It's uh, AMOLED. Um, not sure on that, I'll have to check that for you. Um, so, four inch screen, okay. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the, the processor, it's a one gig Snapdragon processor, okay. Um, and what makes this a little bit different, first of all, it's our first Android handset. What, what makes this a little bit different to us is the timescape um, aspect. So, this is a unique um, user interface. So, I tap the time space. Time space. And what this does, it gives you a timeline of all your um, interaction or your kind of communication, any any media um, which you played on your handset is all through this timeline. So that could include music, it could include photos, it could also include messaging, that kind of thing. Okay, um, you can filter the view, so that can be just your calls, it can be just your messages, it can be just your emails. So the whole point of it, it just makes it such more um, of a user-friendly experience and easier to navigate. You've also got your Facebook applications on there, so Facebook updates are all on there. And what's interesting as well is, say for example, I go into a message and I want to dig a little bit deeper. So me and Ellen, she's sent me a text message yesterday, but I want to know a bit more about my communication with her. I tap the infinite button and then that takes me through to messaging. That's right. So all the messaging, all photos, so more information on the actual contact. So it's more human centric. Okay. I'm also going to quickly show you Mediascape as well. Okay, so Mediascape is basically um, a way. Well, the easiest way to describe it is it organises your music in a really efficient way, um, or your media, in fact, not just your music. If I go to let's uh, just quickly play a song. <coughs> If I play this song, and again I tap the infinite button, what this then does goes to the searches a memory card, and any music by this um, um, artist is displayed here. You will also log on to the internet uh, if we had a decent Wi-Fi connection, and it also show you videos and that kind of thing related to this artist. For example, it connects to YouTube searching his videos. Correct. That's right. Just by starting it across, you'll also have an addition where you can actually buy music or, um, from this uh, from playing our arena, which is our our uh, media store, and you can buy hands, uh, music from, from the handset. Um, another quick thing to show you is the quality of the video playback. So if I just play a quick movie, uh, maybe this one here. Uh, let me see which one's it, sorry. It is very comfortable. Yeah, there we go. So, this is the quality you can expect from the video playback. So that's a four inch screen giving you proper uh, Okay, brilliant. And there we go, so there we have the Xperia X10.